to your evolution biology lab. Um, so today we'll be culturing bacteria. So by now you should be pretty much familiar with what bacteria is. Um, we know bacteria can be found anywhere. And the medium which we normally use to culture bacteria is what we call agar. Now agar is a media that they prepare from uh, a sample that they get from red algae or some type of seaweed. So this dry powder that they get is then mixed with other gelatin or other substances to make this gel product we call agar. Now there are different types of agar, different uses for agar. So today we have two types of agar that we'll be using. They are used to prepare different types of bacteria. The Luria brat agar is this more half white to yellow color. So that's just for general bacteria types. And then we're also using Makanke agar. That one is more of a red brown color. So this one is what we normally use for some more um, severe types of bacteria like your Salmonella or your E. coli. Those types of bacteria commonly grow on Makanke agar. So today is just for us to prepare these, slack, these plates these will go in, in the incubator and after 24 hours we'll come back, observe the plates and you can then come and try to identify the types of bacteria that we've grown based on various properties that the lab will explain to you later on. So the first procedure asks us to open the plates so we will be working simultaneously with the two types of agar. Um, notice I'm holding the plates upside down, that's how we normally store them. So the first two plates We'll just open on the lab table here, leave those exposed for 30 minutes. It says the next two, we're going to use cotton swabs and we're going to sample an area on the desk. So we have some sterile cotton swabs here. So let's just do a random area on the desk. Let's do near the sink. And when streaking, we want to streak sort of in a zigzag pattern. So we'll go on the corners in a zigzag pattern. Now you don't want to press too hard that it tears the surface of the gel. It's sort of like jello, so it's still kind of soft. So just on the surface, in those corner, we'll do a zigzag pattern. And we should be able to do that in at least three corners. So that one is prepared. Let's get some more off the desk. Zigzag corner. Let's get some labels and label these. So we'll just call them desk. It will be for Luria Brat and Desk MC for Makanke. Next, we have coughed several times over on each. I know this can be a bit risky. I don't have COVID or at least I don't have any symptoms as yet. So I'll just cough. Um, the virus won't grow in it, only bacteria. <coughs> <coughs> Again, I don't have COVID.
Next, vigorously scratch your head over the plates. So I'll just scratch my head. I'm having a lot of hair products, so I don't know if anything's falling out. Okay, we'll call that one. This one too. Call that two. Name those here. So we are brought and here we can't get. You know my gloves are oily. Touch the agar surface lightly with your fingertips. So we have one of each. So I'll just touch. And touch. Give it enough touches. And we are brought. And hand Makanki. Let me just wash my hands. Don't know what to do. I've been going on the surface in the woods. Last ones, we're gonna just take to the bathroom and leave these there for 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll just leave them exposed in the bathroom. Okay, pause. So we're back with the last two plates that were in the male restroom here on campus. Exposed for 15 minutes. those and then finally we can close these ones these are two plates that were left exposed on the table for 30 minutes Now that we have all of these ready, we can move over to the incubator. So we're just going to set these on a shelf inside the incubator. Remember again, we have to set them inverted so that any condensation or liquids that form inside they do not drip onto the agar media already preset it so the temperature is right now gonna remain between 37 and 40 degrees celsius so right now it's at about 39 degrees celsius so that's 
pretty good and we're gonna come back within 24 hours and recheck these plates to see if we've had any, any bacteria growth on the agar.